Hello YouTube people, this is Luigi Master, and welcome to part 2 of the su uh, not Super Mario World, the DuckTales Let's Play on the NES. Now some of you may be uh, wondering, you might be bluffing, because you might be bluffing the difficulty of the game. Well, to be honest with you, it's kind of difficult. Well, <laughs> by the way it looks, it's not too difficult, but uh, the way you play is kind of odd. I mean, you, you have to hold down B and the directional pad. It's kind of like playing Super Smash Bros., Except it's needlessly complicated, even for an NES game. Well, the game, I'm used to the Game Boy version where you just simply press the B button. Which, to be honest with you, I love the Game Boy version of this game. In fact, it was so good, in fact, that it was probably the best licensed game to come out for the Game Boy since the Adams Family game for the Game Boy. And so on. Anyway, let me just start this game up. Enough of my blabbering. And let's see how far we can get. We'll do easy again this time. And we start any... Oh yeah, let me list out the levels since, you know, I am decided to make myself good. Okay, they are Amazon, Transylvania, African Mines, the Himalayans, and the Moon. I know, aren't you surprised? Oh well, let's start out at the Amazon since, you know, it's the first stage and all. Alright. Oh yeah, and also, I tried to make my previous uh, Let's Play a uh, high, uh, high death, but the result wasn't so great, so I'm, I'm going to ditch the high death thing, so, uh, wow, I'm doing surprisingly well now. There you go. Good job, Scrooge. I mean, Little Wayne. There we go. Now Little Wayne is living some hip-hop, and that's why he's invincible. I mean, he is so powerful in the fact that he can defeat Rugal by just simply jumping on him. Which is, of course, a feat no one can complete except for KOD himself, even though the only thing you gotta do is just this. Here, I'll actually replicate. That's all you gotta do. Right there. Just bounce on his head until he's dead. Yeah, I know. No one in the world can do that except KOD. Am I right? Anyway, uh, yeah, let's just try to go for all the treasure here. Since, you know, we're gonna teleport after we do this. Jolly good. Ho-ho! Okay, now I've gotten the hang of the controls a little better. There you go. I'm doing surprisingly good. Actually, let me collect all of the jewels. Fuck off, pal. Whoa, did you see that? How do you get past this part? Ah, see how broken that is? Okay, this part over here, when Little Wayne comes back to life, he can't move. Supposedly, there's like a hidden ending when you beat this game with like uh, more than a million dollars or something like that. And it'll give you something like, uh, I don't know, that Scrooge would claim this title as the richest duck in the world, even though he actually isn't. Ah, yes, I remember this trick. You go next to one of these logs and it just uh, gives you some. Maybe this will give you some. Nope. What the hell was that for, anyway? Come on, you fucking spider. That's all that there is right here, so, uh... Maybe there's something up here for me. Oh, look! A secret exit! Let me see if there's... Oh, even more! Wow! I'm good! <laughs> I'm the best at this game! This is why DuckTales was one of the best games on that. Well, not the best games on the NES. It's one of the good, one of the better games out there. It's because there was like so, the levels were constructed in such a way, there was like replay value to it. Well, not necessarily, but 
you have to all hunt down everything, so, uh, and let's just forget those rape spiders, shall we? Nope. What? Oh, a trap. Okay, you see that hole up there? That leads you to another room. Okay, we're five minutes in. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, even if I could, I mean, yeah, this is snaggy, of course, still. You can tell by the descent, because right now it's probably back at the part where I just found all those secret uh, diamonds and shit like that, you know? By the time you hear my voice, I'm probably at the diamond part right now. If not, oh well. Yeah, it's not sna uh, fraps, because fraps can't record emulators, at least to my knowledge. Alright? Ha ha! Oh, come on! This stupid computer decided to go into a screensaver mode. Oh well, at least I got out of it. It didn't break the game, unlike the way it does with Muggin. Ah, it's so gay. Okay, this is the part where I'm about to die. Those bees, they travel in such an unpredictable pattern, even though it's so simple. A five-year-old couldn't figure it out. Now I have to wait for a launch pilot. Yeah, whoo! That was a close call. That was a life or death call. What the hell? I hit that piece of shit. Why did I die? Oh well, let me see if I can get some more treasures. Right, just... Every single one of these, at least, has something hidden, so, uh... That explode. Uh, that makes it a good pastime right here. Just destroy everything. You know, it teaches a good lesson about riches in the United States. In order for you to get anything, you have to take it by force. Even if it means you have to steal it from the poor. Alright, we're doing good so far. $350,000 in just one stage. Oh yeah, for those of you wondering, this game is made by Capcom. You know, the same guys who made Crank That Ryu and Street Hadouken Fighter featuring Chun-Li. Yup, it may not look like it because it's Capcom. And you know, Capcom is known to take anything whatsoever that bears resemblance to a woman and turn it into instant fuel to fuel the United States of America for three millennia flat. If not more, assuming we use hybrid vehicles instead of these gas-guzzling SUVs. Almost eight minutes in. Ah, fuck. Did you hear that? The game just decided to mute out a channel. Oh well, it could be an emulator, so... Come on, Scrooge! There you go. What the fuck? That's bullshit! I was right on that thing and decided to fall. Damn. Oh, I'll just go to it. Don't even try a high call. Just be careful, Scrooge, please. Just be careful for me. Yours truly, Princess Peach. Eight and a half minutes in. I'm gonna cut this at ten minutes. As you can tell, because the YouTube time limit is my arch enemy. My Halo arch enemy. Those little tiny rock diamond things are worth around $2,000. So, uh, collecting them is only a matter of taste, really. If $2,000 are about to make you that much richer, so be it. Alright, we're nine minutes in. And the official YouTube time limit will cut the video short. And oh, fuck! There we go. As you, can, as you know with all Capcom games, the hitboxes they create are incredibly retarded, as you might have seen in the, the famous Homogeneous series, which basically are about these people who, who just really suck at fighting games, or they get beat because they think that, oh, it makes sense that if I'm behind Urian, I won't get hit, but no, Urian's hitboxes are so fucked up, he gets hit even by standing right behind him. Come on, Scrooge. Oh, fuck. I'm not doing so well at this game. Oh, well, I'm going to cut this one short, and I'll see you guys in a few more minutes. So, uh, see you, folks.